What's up guys, so welcome back to Denison. I think we might be getting our pizza record. Pepperoni pizza, come on, 21 seconds. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't think, have we had 20, 21 pizzas in, uh, in one ship before? I don't think we have, but I think we're getting it today. We for sure, we might be able to get one more. If it's a cheese, we could potentially get it. So I'm, I'm just gonna put a, a cheese pizza together and let's see what happens, but uh, bam, it's smokehouse steak. 21 pizzas in a single shift, that is a new world record, at least for us. Welcome back. I'm excited for today. So it's a beautiful Monday here in Cedar Shores, and I love this, man. We've got the moon shining, we've got the pink hues as the sun rises over the treetops, and uh, it's a brand new work week. I'm excited to see what we can get into. We're gonna be being a bit of a degenerate. So game go, we've been messing with the prices a little bit, right? If we take a look at our retail stats thus far, we actually just had our worst sales day to date in terms of revenue. So in our first day when we were priced at I think 30 bucks, we made around $775. And then we raised our prices to $35 and we made about 1500. That was a great day. We raised to $40 yesterday and we dropped down to a $400 day. So I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm kind of curious. We've activated an advertising campaign and I'm just gonna see what happens if we go to max price. My goal today is to upgrade us to an appliance store where we could sell toasters, coffee makers, juicers, blenders, kettles, yada, yada, yada. It's a higher quality, higher price item. We're gonna be able to make more money in the long run, but in the meantime, we're gonna have to sell all of our inventory. We might as well see what we could do. If we could potentially rip off our customers, make a bunch of money today, shut down, close up shop, completely rebrand and come back as a totally different store, it might end up working out for us or we might just sell nothing. Got a feeling our store rating is gonna be plummeting today, but it's gonna be fun. So $55 max price, can't go any higher. No promotions, advertising campaign. This is probably gonna be a disaster, but I guess we've just gotta wait to find out. <laughs> All right, it's 3 a.m. the next morning here on Tuesday, and I don't think it went very well based on the money that we have in our uh, our top left there. Let's take a look. We made almost nothing. All right, so I, I guess, you know, every budding business has to test out the market, has to see what we've got going on. I think $35 is the sweet spot here. So let's drop this back down to 35. Let's head back out to the warehouse. We're gonna get as much inventory as we possibly can. We know this $35 price point is good. It's the most, you know, profitable day that we've had up until this point. So we're gonna put all our eggs in this basket and hopefully start to make some more money. Cause I tell you what, our retail space it doesn't stop. Our rent doesn't stop. Buying food doesn't stop. So we, we can't have many more days of zero dollars of income. I really wanted to upgrade us to the appliance sales, but I guess we're just kind of moving a little bit too fast. Let's learn our market, learn what we're good at here, and then we can worry about the others later. So bam, there it is. We've got a bunch of adventure games. We've got everything good to go by 10 a.m. We're gonna be opening up we're gonna be cleaning house. Brand new day is just around the corner, excited to make some money, but even more excited because we did get hit up by Austin. I heard you're looking for some extra work. Stop by my place in Cutler when you have a minute and I'll give you the details. Here we go. Our, our favorite homie, he, he hooked us up with our very first job. We made 500 bucks. It was amazing. We had a hack into a warehouse. It was quite the scenario. If you're looking for more work, I've got a job here that needs to be taken care of. Um, sure, what can I do for you, man? We've got a client that had some of their assets swiped a few nights ago. We already know where the cargo is being held and it needs to be recovered without delay. All right, what else? The trailer is being held at a building just outside of town on the main road. Find a way into the holding area and get the doors open so you can pick up the load. No problem, I can handle that. Anything else I need to know? You'll need to haul the cargo away, so make sure to bring a truck for the job. Deliver the cargo to the loading zone behind my building. Oh, and move swiftly. If the cargo is left alone for too long, it could go missing again. Find a way into the building just outside of the town on the main road. Pick up the cargo and bring it back here. You got it. Make sure to leave the trailer behind my building. Come see me for your payment when the work is done. All right. So, just outside of town. Now, is he telling us what direction? We don't really have like maps or, or objectives or points of interest in this game. I think we're just gonna have to have to get after it. He said it was just outside of town, so we'll check this side first, and if we can't find anything, we're gonna go to the other side. He said we had a, it's a trailer, and we've gotta figure out a way to get into the main 
holding area. He also said it was a building on the main road. So, I, I mean, this is our warehouse over here. Uh, is that a trailer in here? This is a building just off the main road. Dude, this is... This is a little bit creepy, huh? We're, we're getting a little... A little sketchy. There's the trailer right there. All right. This is our spot. We just got to find a way in. I'm assuming we're going to be able to pick the lock. I don't... Oop, oop. Hello. Door. Got to be careful here. I don't know how many lock picks we have. Oh my god! I freaking hate... Okay, we got another one. We're fine. You got to do a little bit early and it's... It's so unnatural. There it is. What are we going to have on the inside, though? I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. There's a pizza. I can't take the pizza. The pizza is blocking my way. Okay, that's... That's... That is potentially a problem, game! I... Uh, I'm going to have to leave, and we're going to have to redo it, and hopefully it respawns. Just don't... Don't mess up the lock. It's so awkward. It should... You got it? Please tell me there's no pizza here this time. Are you freaking kidding me, dude? What What do you want me to do with this pizza? I, I, I can't get around it. Do I not have enough space in my inventory? Let me eat a candy bar. That doesn't help me either. We obviously have to get through that door. That's how we're going to get to the thing. Storage? Oh, we can loot things? There's nothing in here, though. I'm going to take the, the soda. Can't go in there. There's nothing in here. There's nothing we can do. I might have to go sleep or reload the game or something. This is frustrating. Can't go in through the front door. There's nothing we can do to this over here. We clearly have to go through that, but somehow they left a security pizza that's stopping us from getting it done. I'm going to try again. Please tell me this pizza isn't here. Please tell me this pizza isn't here. I, the problem is, is I don't know what we're going to do. Oh my gosh. He said that if we don't get it quick enough, it's going to disappear, and that means... Th I think if we save... There's no way to save unless you sleep, and if we sleep, it's going to advance us 24 hours. I'm worried it's going to disappear by that time. But we're... I mean, I don't think we have a choice. I just got to hope this pizza despawns. Back home here, this is such a frustrating situation. I just... I I'm glad that we're getting more missions from him. I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to see him again, but uh, I just... Want to be able to complete it. So we're going to go to sleep. We do have a sleep timer. Now. Oh, 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 we can just go to 10 o'clock Tuesday. That works for me. All right. Hopefully this is going to count as a save. And then I'm, I'm going to exit to main menu. I'm going to see you guys in a second. We're going to reload back in and, and hope the trailer's still there. I love this, man. I love that we, we can do everything from making pizzas as a, a low hourly wage job to building our own businesses. And we have multiple avenues to choose from there slowly work our way up over time on the legitimate side of things, but then we can also be a bit of a degenerate and we can get up to no good. So I'm going to get this thing set up so we're good to go. We're going to head around back. Man, I, I just, I get weird vibes from this game sometimes, man. Let's see what we got going on. I'm going to pick this lock. We've got two lock picks. Not a lot of room for error here, Trev. Going to play it safe and go all the way around. Please tell me this cheese pizza is not here. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, well... I'm sorry, man, but I can't get it done. Unfortunately, the battle has been won by the pizza. I, I, I legitimately cannot, I cannot take it. Denizen, pizza in the way, trailer mission. Is there a way to get rid of this? I'm not seeing anything. Listen, Austin, I'm one of the toughest, most hardened criminals around, but I don't know how to defeat this pizza. Do we have any ideas? I don't see my client's trailer out back yet. Find a way into the building up the road and recover the trailer. Well, I, I mean, unless you got some homies that are hungry, I don't think we're going to be able to, he's got a pizza here too. Yeah, it's you. Are you setting me up? Okay. I've completely restarted my computer and it looks like we defeated it. Let's go. I'm going to take your cherry Coke. I'm going to take your beef and creamy. I've got weird, vi I don't, I don't, there's like an empty sound effect that plays when you're in a place you're not supposed to be and I really don't like it. Can we open this up? How do we how do we get this trailer out? The ter oh, we got to hack this terminal. It's going to be tracing detection. So we're going to go this way. We're going to go this way. We're going to go this way. I'm imagining we're probably going to want to go this way. Let's not go that way. Let's go down. Let's go left. Let's go up. No. 
We're gonna want to go back this way. We're gonna want to sh shite. These are the only options so far. We can go left or right. I'm a mad. No, we can't go that way. There's nothing unless we go this way and then here and then here. There it is. Now I think we're getting somewhere here. There, there, there. Access Beautiful. Got to work back from the back there. Open up the doors here. Beautiful. Doors are open. Let's grab this thing as soon as possible before anybody ends up getting here. How do I... We're going to have to have to do something here. How does this work? Do we have it? Oh. We just got to back all the way up into it. And look at that. We got a trailer, baby. Time to ride out. <laughs> Dude, this is great. There, there's so many opportunities. When we were exploring... And we saw the horses. Like, what What if we could become a farmer in this game? What, what if I decide I want to leave the city life behind and go live out in the woods and get a horse trailer? And, and you know what I mean? Like, I feel like the opportunities here are, are truly endless. So, got this done. Wasted a bunch of fuel in the process. But we are almost to a mission complete, thankfully. Oh, okay. We're fine. I, I wanted to make sure we didn't hit the, the edge of the trailer there. If we mess up the truck a little bit, it's okay. Bring her around this way. This is ours. And this is Austin's right here, I think. So we leave that right there. Beautiful. Should be able to uh, drive back out to the street. Don't want to... Oh, we can't go that way. We're going to have to go around. Don't want to leave any evidence that it was us here. Nothing to see here. Nothing sketchy at all. Uh, I mean, we just returned something to its rightful owner. That is, if we can trust that Austin's telling us the truth. I don't know if he's the most upstanding citizen out here in uh, Cedar Shores. But uh, let's go get our paycheck. Job well done. Here's your payment. I'm all out of work for now. Come by some other time. Just like that, we're 500 bucks richer. And hopefully, fingers crossed... Things are going well. We've had 40 customers today, 20 items sold, $650 in revenue, and we still were open until 7 p.m. It's only noon. We're looking good, baby. That's what I'm talking about. So I think our best case scenario is just going to be to kind of grind the gaming side, I guess. But I mean, it's, it's what we really know and understand. I'm loading up a ton of merchandise here. This is the most that we have ever had in our store at any one single point in time. If we check the uh, the shelves here, look at this. I feel like we have a lot more than this. If you look at our retail thing, we've got 30 action games, 22 adventure, 30 racing, 30 sports. We've got a large inventory here, all placed at $35. I mean, our, our revenue is, is looking good. We just had a $2,600 day yesterday. We've got even more here now, so... Every day from this point forward, hopefully, is a record breaker. We'll see how much we can get through today. Get a little bit of water back here at the apartment. I'm thinking maybe fire up a microwavable meal. The Oriental chicken sounds pretty good, so let's throw this in there. Looking like we need a uh, bit of a shower here. I'm not going to use the restroom yet because we're about to eat. I would think this... Kung Pao Chicken is going to kind of run through us pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and uh, use this. Beautiful. We can throw all the excess back in here. I love how it's two servings and it's two boxes. So you get four total servings. Let's get our bathroom needs taken care of. And then, I mean, there's not really much we can do today. If we wanted to, we could go work at the pizza shop. If we wanted to double up and, and pull a, a double shift. But what we could do is just go to sleep. Let's fast forward to 5 p.m. on Thursday. That's going to be most of the way through the day, and we're going to see what we were able to sell today. 97 customers for 84 items, and we made nearly three grand. So uh, now we just have to wait till midnight. Technically, what we could do is just sleep. Sleep until 1 a.m., and we're going to be able to see this is going to jump from 232 to 4,148. And I think what I'm going to do is just kind of grind this for a little bit. Really, I don't think there's much better we could do for ourselves than that right now. You know, we've got three to $4,000 revenue days. Let's just milk this for, you know, a few days, week or so. Let's get some cash reserves and then we can branch out and build the business more later. And hopefully our boy Austin is going to bring some more opportunities and some higher paying opportunities as well so i uh, hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching i'm going to see you guys in our next episode i'm just going to grind this for a few days off screen you guys aren't gonna gonna miss much
We're just going to come back with a fat wad of cash. Good morning and welcome back to beautiful Cedar Shores. It is Monday morning, new week, new me. We are going to be changing things up. It is time to evolve our business so uh, we've been grinding the games business for the last week or so the last i guess five days technically and it's treating us pretty well we maxed out around forty five hundred dollars per day in revenue which is fantastic but um we want more we want to make more money we currently have nine thousand dollars in the bank which after a couple of days of work honestly really good it, it would take us weeks and weeks at the pizza shop to be able to make that work so it's doing well but it can do better. So what we're going to do is we are going to close our store, confirm. We're going to liquidate our inventory, which we're going to sell everything at half of what we bought it for. I think we only had like nine items or something like that left. And we are going to go hop in our truck. We're going to go check out what we've got going on at the supply warehouse. Forgot to heat up any meal or anything, so I guess we can eat a candy bar on the way out. Should hold us over for the day. And to off we go. So we've got a couple of options here. I'm pretty sure... We're going to try to switch to an electronics business. I'm just a little bit worried that we might not have enough money to get a solid inventory to start, but we're going to see. We're, we're, we're hoping to kind of leapfrog our way up. Gotta love these gorgeous hills and forests in the morning. Birds are chirping. We are out here grinding, baby. Early bird gets the worm. Let's go see what we've got going on at the warehouse supply store. So we've got video games here. We've been grinding this. $20 wholesale, $30 MSRP. We've been selling them at 35, so we had a $15 profit, not bad. Appliances, so it looks like a toaster is 40 with a 60 MSRP. Is everything the same here? It looks like everything's the same. Or electronics is 60 with a $90 MSRP. I honestly, I think we could make this work. So these are gonna be $600 a piece. So that's 6, 12, 18, 24, $3,000 for a full set. We can make this work. I'm going to do two sets of everything. $6,000 for 20 alarm clocks, 20 Bluetooth speakers, 20 AirPods, 20 Apple Watches, and 20 projectors. All right, check out. We don't have enough cargo space. We're going to have to remove a couple things, I think. We purchased some items there. $3,600 worth. Let's go take this back to the store. We got to move against the clock, baby. It is 6.55 a.m. The customers are going to come knocking at 10. Would love to be able to buy some sort of a, a bigger vehicle. You can get, I think, six boxes. Yeah, we've got four on the bottom and then two on top there. So we're going to have to make a second trip to get the excess inventory. Eventually, it'd be nice to be able to tow a trailer or something like that. But, um, man, we... Have kind of made it. I'm excited to see what happens here. I'm, I'm really hoping. I, I don't know if, you know, obviously we're going to make more per item here, but I'm not sure if there aren't enough customers. Somebody coming in to spend 35 bucks in the game is a lot different than somebody coming in to spend 90 bucks on an electronic. So we'll, we'll see if we got some high rollers out here in the shores. Taking a look at our inventory here, it looks like we have two smartwatches built in so we're going to get an extra of everything but the smart watches and then we're going to try to pay attention to what ends up selling the most the alarm clock the speaker the headphones and then the projector we're going to spend another twenty four hundred dollars looks good we've still got thirty three hundred left over i mean we could get another round of everything but let's not put all of our eggs in one basket just in case the electronic store doesn't work out for us we do not have a lot of time it is 9 24 a.m let's take a l where oh do we have do we have to change if we change it to uh change it to electronics we're gonna open this oh we didn't change the name we're gonna we're gonna open it oh there it is look at this we've got headphones we've got smart watches we've got our projectors we've got our alarms our speakers everything what do you think the name should be quick panic uh, don't don't panic Trev. but i just I don't, I don't know what to call it uh uh i have a light bulb here it's it's called great great eagle tech for you amazon light bulb that i have in front of me so we're just gonna go with that advertising is active i'm gonna put everything at a hundred bucks just to start things off, we'll see what happens, and hopefully we're going to have a much more productive day. Oh my goodness, man. 9.57 a.m., barely beat the crowds, and uh, let's go outside. I mean, I wish we could hire, you know, a little sign twirler or something like that. Hey, girl, you looking for some new AirPods? I got you in here. I wish you could see people going in your store. This is a demo, obviously, but it'd be cool if, like... 
you know, is the, oh, we can see our employee. I've never seen my employee before. How you doing? Oh, we got people in the store. Maybe we just haven't been here at the right time. Excuse me. I saw you outside. Yeah. Um, I think you would really like these pink headphones. They would look great on you. If you're looking to, you know, get a workout in or something like that, you could play your favorite music. Hey, you in the blue dress. Yeah. You're looking for an Apple watch. You're trying to try to track them calories, trying to close them rings. We got you. My man, are you always late to work? I know I am too. Sometimes I'm sleeping in. We got the best alarm clocks of all time. I'm charging you a hundred bucks for this thing. It's literally going to make your breakfast and, and slow roast you a coffee in the morning. It, it better. Otherwise, it's a complete knockoff. We'll, we'll see how this goes. We don't have any sales yet. I'm hoping we didn't overprice ourselves, but honestly, I think we could probably go up a little bit more. We're, we're gonna test it out. We're gonna feel it out for a couple of days. We just kind of have to give it time. We do still have the same number of employees, the same hourly wage. So in the grand scheme of things, it's gonna be a lower percentage of our, our take home each day. As long as we have enough customers, I'm really hoping we see this number go up.